There is one thing you're not short of when it comes to the new C-Class, and that is a variety. There's the coupe, the estate, and the saloon to choose from. But that trio is about to be made into a quartet with the arrival of this, the new C-Class Cabriolet. But more specifically, this particular model is the Mercedes AMG C63S, or in other words, an M4 convertible's worst nightmare. And the BMW has every reason to be worried. Under the bonnet sits the same 4-litre bi-turbo V8 from the AMG GT supercar, developing 503 brake horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. It's hooked up to a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox and fires the Mercedes AMG from 0 to 62 in just 4.1 seconds and onto a limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Now, before we get to the nitty-gritty of what the new C63 Cabrio is like to drive, there's one thing we need to mention first. <laughs> that engine, four litre twin turbo V8. Now if there's any concerns as to how turbocharged engines were going to sound then, this engine is one that absolutely puts paid to that theory. And with the absence of the roof, chasing that 7,000 RPM red line is so addictive just encourages you to press on and on and when you lift off the throttle you get this violent barks and burbles from the exhaust. What an engine! But with the noise comes the speed and plenty of it. 0 to 62 it takes 4.1 seconds which is two tenths down over the coupe but for comparison, the M4 convertible takes 4.4 seconds. There's no real sense of it being turbocharged either. From 2000 RPM right up to the red line, it pulls with real force without the lag or spiky power delivery you'd normally find in a turbocharged sports car. It really is an impressive engine. Another party piece is the multi-layered fabric folding roof, which can be raised or lowered on the move at up to 30 miles per hour. With the roof in place, boot capacity is a reasonable 355 litres, but when folded, space is reduced to 260 litres. But that reduced boot capacity isn't the only downside of this new Cabrio. Because the roof has now came off, Mercedes has had to add strengthening to the body to make sure it's just as rigid as the hard top. And in doing so, the Cabrio is 125 kilos heavier than the Coupe. And that's bad for two reasons. Firstly, economy suffers as a result of the heavier curb weight and performance also suffers. But in reality, those things are just something on the spec sheet. Out on the road, the C63 feels, it feels even faster than the coupe because it's so exposed to all of the elements and all, all of this noise. <laughs> Now the way the C63 behaves on the road kind of depends on what driving mode that you have the car in. So in this S model, you get a Comfort, a Sport, a Sport Plus and a Race mode. Now in day-to-day -day driving, like we are here, the Comfort mode strikes quite a good balance between ride quality and comfort, as you'd sort of expect, but also body control, which for a Cabrio is still, it's still quite impressive. But dial it up to Sport and Sport Plus using the little toggle down there on the centre console and the steering weight so the throttle becomes a bit sharper and the volume is also turned up from the Sport's exhaust. <laughs> but the good thing is, even in these more aggressive driving modes, the performance is still accessible. It's still quite a well-rounded and simple car to drive quite quickly. And another thing worth mentioning is the interior, which is by far the nicest in its class. 
you get a lovely thick rimmed Alcantara steering wheel, leather wrapped bucket seats along with a plush carbon fibre centre console. There is a sense of attention to detail in here you just don't get in the M4. So, the C63 may have lost its roof, but it has lost none of its brutish charm or ruthless appetite for speed. It sounds like thunder, has super model looks, and certainly will give M4 convertible buyers something to think about. But the question remains, should you buy one over the coupe? Well, on days like this, it makes a very strong case for itself. Click the video on the left to see your review of the M4 competition pack, or the video on the right to see a track battle between the Jaguar F-Type and M4 convertible. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video and on the Auto Express logo to subscribe to our channel.